Hello, I'm Laura. I'm a veterinary surgeon at the Food Animal Initiative in Oxford in the UK. We are in the middle of lambing at the moment. We've got 1,200 ewes and we've got lots of lambs appearing every day and so we have to make sure that they're all in the best of health. And the first thing we have to make sure when they're born is that of course they're, they're breathing okay and that they're standing up but then immediately that, that we're making sure that they're taking in enough colostrum. So this is colostrum. It is the ewe's first milk that comes from her udder after, she, after the lamb is born. It's quite a thick yellow milk um, and the lamb should take in 50 mils per kilogram of its body weight in colostrum within the first two hours of birth. And over the first 24 hours of, of its life, it should take in 200 mils per kilogram of its body weight. And most of the, the lambs here will be weighing between two and four kilos. The triplet uh, lambs will be weighing more like two to three kilos. So of course, in the first two hours, they should be, they should be taking in um, they should be taking in between 100 and 150 mils of colostrum. So if we're worried that the ewe isn't producing that milk or she isn't allowing the lambs to suckle or if the lamb is too weak to be able to suckle properly and get on its feet then we need to make sure we give this colostrum by stomach tube. If it's able to suckle from a bottle then that's, that's also fine but if it is too weak to suckle we need to give it via, via a tube into its stomach. So this is a, a stomach tube. We can first make sure that it's, it's warm and soft by putting it into a jug and adding hot water and this softens it and makes it um, comfortable whilst it's going down, down the esophagus. We also need to make sure that the colostrum is warm so we can take the colostrum directly from the ewe um, after the lamb is born or if, for example, in the worst case situation, the ewe has died, and we can also milk that ewe, or we can milk another ewe. Um, and we need, in that circumstance, to make sure that that colostrum is warm. And we can do that by adding it to a clean bottle. And putting the bottle into a jug of hot water. And that colostrum needs to be coming up to body temperature, so we can test that on the back of our hands before we add it to the stomach tube. So this is a newborn lamb. It was born about an hour ago, and we need to first make sure that it's received enough colostrum from, from the ewe. And we can do that by holding it by its front legs and just feeling behind the rib cage to feel the abomasum, which is one of the stomachs. And if it's received milk, then we can feel that the, that the stomach there is, is quite full. But in this little lamb, I can't really feel that there's much, much inside, so it, it does need a feed immediately. If the lamb is not suckling properly, then we need to deliver the colostrum by stomach tube. And so I'm going to do that now. The stomach tube has been in some hot water just to make sure that it's clean and also that it's quite flexible. And we first need to measure the tube to make sure that we have a long enough tube for this lamb, but also to measure where the tube should sit when it's sat into in, in the stomach. And so we, we should be inserting the tube until about an inch from the end, and then we know it's in the right place. So I'd usually sit down for this procedure and have the lamb facing away from you and just gently grip with your, your legs so it's, so it's just dangling quite comfortably. Then we can insert the tube into the corner of the lamb's mouth and it should it should just gently chew on the tube and that's a good a good sign because it means that it hopefully is swallowing the tube come on that's it that's it That should be in the right place. I'm then going to get the barrel of a syringe. Again, this is a it's been in, in hot water to make it clean. Pop that on the end. I'm then going to take about 150 mils of colostrum. going to let that go down by gravity into its stomach. Okay. 
came down quite easily. One for sure the tube is empty all the way to the bottom. You can just slowly pull out. All right, see that's ready. Okay, and then we can return the U, turn the lamp to its U.